Hey guys, how are you today? Happy Friday. Today is April 8th and um, I just went to Dollar Tree to wrap up getting some last minute Easter gifts for the family. Um, not just Easter gifts, it's just stuff for like Easter baskets and things like that. So I just figured I would go ahead and share with you guys what I was able to find. Um, let's see, I just went to Dollar Tree because uh, I love like finding good deals and stuff that's like really affordable and inexpensive. So the first thing I'll go over with you guys is um, my daughter, my youngest one is in fifth grade. And so this is her last year in elementary school and we're doing um, gift bags for all of her friends in the class, which we've done since kindergarten for all our kids. Um, but anyway, so this is her last year doing Easter gift bags for all her little friends at school. So she's got about 20 or 22 kids in her class. So we are going to um, make just some little, you know, little class bags. So I didn't bring the bags with me because they're at home, but I found those at Dollar Tree also. They have like little bunnies on them and like a whole pack of 24 or something like that was a dollar 25. So we have that. And then I also bought um, the other day some Easter pencils, which those are not with me because they're already at home. But just like packs where you can get like 10 or 12 um, Easter pencils. And we're gonna put a pencil in each bag. So bear with me, <laughs> picture the Easter bag and then the pencils to go in the bag. Um, so let me just show you kind of like so you can get a visual of what we're doing, just in case you guys need some ideas. So I bought some of this uh, Easter grass. And let me show this to you, Easter grass. So it has, uh, this one, the re okay, let's talk about this for a minute. So the reason I got, uh, I got, how many I get? I got like two of these. Um, they have different ones at Dollar Tree. Uh, some were like kind of iridescent and like really pretty. I think I might've got one of those and we'll talk about that in a minute. But the reason I got this pack was it was three ounces of the paper grass and the other packs at Dollar Tree were like 1.75 ounces and they were the same price and I was like, no. Anyhow, so I already bought paper um, grass like this for my daughter's Easter baskets to kind of fill the bottom and I've already done that, but I was thinking about the kids baskets and for the class, you know, and I was like, wouldn't it be super cute if I put some, like just a little, dabble of some of the paper grass like in there in the kit you know for the class you know what I mean like the little kids bags it might just kind of fill it a little bit and look really cute so anyway so I got two bags of these so I'm gonna they look kind of long I mean you know it's Dollar Tree so they're kind of whatever but so I'm probably gonna like get some scissors and sort of shred this up a little bit so it's a little smaller and then just take little tiny handfuls, put it in the little treat bags, put the Easter pencil in there. Are you getting a visual yet of what this is gonna look like? So, okay, two bags of that. Then I found these were really cute. They weren't at my normal Dollar Tree, so I went to a different one today because normally that happens. Y'all know you go to a different store and they have different stuff. So um, these were so cute. They're like stamps. Let me show you the top and they're all different. Anyway, so they're all kind of like Eastery. I don't think you can see the bottom ones, but okay, this one right here says Happy Easter. It's got a little chick and then this has like a little Easter gnome on it. Anyway, so uh, two, four, six, there's eight in here. So I bought like, I got like three or four of these. So I'm gonna put, you know, one of these stampers in the student treat bag with their pencil. Okay, yeah, I think I got like four. Yeah, I got like four of those. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Four of those. Super good price, you know, super cheap and whatever. Um, then, hold on, let me get my life together, guys. Then I got some, like, just Easter candy just to kind of put in those, you know, just the little student bags. So I found these because Bella, my daughter, um, the one who we're doing this for her class. She said her friends like love these little airheads and these are like they're mini ones and there's 12 in this pack for $1.25. So I'm gonna put one um, one of these in their bag. 
Oh, I forgot to mention. So it last time was a Dollar Tree. I also got like a huge pack of um, like the plastic Easter eggs, you know, that you put the candy in. So I'm gonna put the, one of these in the plastic Easter egg and that's gonna go in the student bag along with, let me show you what else I got, along with these. Like, you know, just little chocolate. They, her class doesn't have, nobody in there has any allergies to this stuff because I checked on that first. So we're good. I didn't do anything with peanut butter because you never know. Well, they might have a sibling, but with the allergies. So just, you know, I'm gonna give them one or two of these with the airhead. Um, uh, two bags of those. So that'll go in the little plastic egg, the candy will, in the bag with a pencil, with a stamper, with the grass. Are you still with me on this? And then, um, then these, I thought this was a really good deal because I don't think these are that cheap if you buy them at Target. Uh, Charms Mini Pops, Tropical Mix. There's 35 suckers in here which is a lot i think for that price isn't it like i feel like that was really good so we'll get eat you know put one of these in each you know kids treat bag so getting away super cheap this year i think that was you know pretty good i think it'll look pretty with the grass in there i've never done that before for the student bags so i thought that might be kind of cute and okay so there's that then some other random stuff i bought let me show you. Okay, this was really cute. You're going to think I'm ridiculous, but I saw this at Dollar Tree, and I'm like, okay, $1.25. It's festive because it's the Easter bunny looking thing. It's a little, you know, obviously an egg tray platter, or to me it's obvious, but so I figure when the kids are dying their eggs this year, which we didn't do last year because I didn't feel like it. So this year we're gonna go ahead and do it because I bought a kit to motivate myself. So we're gonna dye the eggs this year and then you just like, you know, this sits on the table and then once you dye the egg, you put it in here so it can dry. You know, I just thought it was kind of festive and cute and it was only $1.25, so who cares. Then I got these, which I haven't bought these before, but I was like, you know, I was willing to do it this year. So they're like these little cellophane bags. So let me tell y'all what, what I did. Okay, so we moved, we moved to our new house like in October last year when we were moving, I was over it. So I'm pretty, I'm like, I'm not pretty sure. I'm like a hundred percent sure that I like threw away the girls Easter baskets from the years before. So I was like, I'm done, I'm over it. I'll get something new when we get to the new house. So this year, what I decided to do, instead of like going to Marshall's like I normally do and buy some like frou-frou little Easter basket that's like $15 that they can use, you know, for a couple years. I was like, forget it. I'm gonna get a, a ugly little plastic Easter basket from Dollar Tree. And they're not, uh, I mean, you know, they're not ugly. They're just not as cute as the Marshall's ones, but a little plastic Easter basket for $1.25. And now I'm just going to throw that thing away every year because I don't care and I don't want to store it. And it takes up so much room and to store something that costs a dollar is not worth it to me. So that's what I did this year. I bought, you know, the cheap baskets. Well, they're small. Like they're a lot smaller than Easter baskets that I've gotten before, which I'm kind of happy about because then I don't have to buy a bunch of stuff that they're not going to use anyway. So this year I got the girls like each a little pair of shoes from five below, like slip on shoes, just something to kind of throw on when we're running, you know, out to Chick-fil-A or something. And then, um, like random stuff, like just little cheap stuff, but I didn't have to get a lot cause those Dollar Tree baskets are kind of small. Maybe I'll have to show you another video and show you like what I got. But anyway, I'm rambling, but the point is <clears throat> this I'm sure is not super large, but it'll surely go around a Dollar Tree plastic Easter basket because they're not that big. So I'm like, this will make it a little bit cuter and cellophane it up and it'll, you know, I'll stuff it, put this in there, put the grass, it'll be super cute. So I have three kid baskets to make. This is a two pack. So, you know, obviously I bought two. I'm gonna have one left over. If my husband continues to behave himself, he might get an Easter basket too. So I'll use the extra one for him. And then 
Okay, this is cute, y'all. I'm gonna do, I gotta do another video of what I did. So for my, all my kids, my two oldest ones are in high school. So for those girls, um, they have X amount of teachers, you know, a lot of teachers. So what I did, I went to Bath and Body Works, you know, they had that big soap sale, 350 a bottle. So I got the Happy Easter, which is like Tutti Frutti candy, I think the flavor. Anyway, the pretty Happy Easter soap. I bought some cool, you know, no, I didn't buy. I got the free from Bath and Body Works, those clear cellophane bags they give you with the little name tag that, or gift tag is free. So um, I put the soap in the clear bag with a little hand sanitizer just for all the teachers because I had to get like 10 because my youngest one, like she has one teacher, but then there's like the librarian and she's telling me all the art teacher, all these people she has to get stuff for. So she had a bunch and my high schoolers have obviously a bunch of teachers. So we end up with like 10. Um, but you guys, they're so precious. And look what I got. Um, I ran out. So I, this is just extra because I had to get some more. So many teachers. But let me tell you what I did. I put, and I'm sure y'all have done this before, but I haven't. So it's exciting to me. Listen to me sounding so excited. I got this, um, some more of this grass, right? That, but this one's like kind of iridescent and shiny and it's blue, which kind of matches the Bath and Body Works Happy Easter soap. Cause it's kind of just blue. So this is going to go in the bottom of the bag with the soap, with the hand sanitizer, with the little gift tag. Y'all, I can't, I can't. It's so cute. So cute. So I had to get some more of that. Cause I was, almost, I was like, ow, ow. Then I got, I had to get me some more eyelashes. Y'all know I gotta keep my eyelashes on. So I got the Ioni because like Ioni are the best. I love these Ioni lashes. Um, they sell out big time at my at my Dollar Tree because I mean they're worth more than that. So to get them for a dollar is pretty good. So they had this, they didn't have at my normal store. So I went to a different one and I was super excited to see that they have uh, this, um, I don't know, wispy, Pastel Princess is the, these are my jam right here. Pastel Princess, 100% handmade, wispy doll, full Ioni 3D faux mink lashes, but I just love like this packaging. It's like a whole series or something. There was like this one and a blue and a red. They're beautiful. Like I almost bought it just for the packaging alone, but these eyelashes were so pretty. So I grabbed one of those. And the last thing I got, so this year I'm doing a scavenger hunt for my kids and I bought these like large gold glittery eggs at five below. I think they were like a dollar or something. So they're probably this big and we're going to do a scavenger hunt and they're cute because they're gold and glittery. And then I was like, well, I got to put something in them. So I'm going to do some of the grass and then I found these at Dollar Tree. They're like those Disney, um, zoom zooms. One of my girls loves Stitch, so, I mean, you know, it's cute. They're teenagers, but who cares? Even if they throw it away, I don't really care. It's, it'll be a cute little surprise when they open their egg, I thought. And then this Wonder Woman, I mean, she's so cute. And then the last one I got for my youngest one was Minnie Mouse. Like, how cute is that? This is so cute, little tail. She's so cute. So that's what I did today. That's the damage I've done. I had a great time, but I will definitely um, try to get that other video up for you guys on the the teacher gifts because like I all in, I'm like at, you know, maybe $4 for those and they look so cute. And maybe you guys might just be like, I just need a fresh idea of something to do I haven't done yet for teacher gifts. And you know, if you're like me and you have to get like a ton of people something just to show that you're thinking of them and you appreciate them and all they do. It's just such a, you know, Bath and Body Works, you can't go wrong. You just can't. Somebody gave that to me, I'll just be like, you you rock. So anyway, I'll try to get another video of, of that just so you can kind of see. It'll be really short, but just show you what I did and how cute it ended up turning out. But yeah, so that's it. I don't even know what I spent. You know, the 25 cents added to the dollars a lot. I mean, it, it, everything I bought, I think it was like, it would have only been like $15, but it turned out to be like $21 for all that just because of that quarter. So it really adds up. So I need to watch myself a little bit more at <laughs> Dollar Tree. 
But anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Um, I would love for you to subscribe and please give me a thumbs up. I would love to do more videos for you guys and I would love to hear, you know, your thoughts and I just hope you have a wonderful, awesome weekend. Um, wherever you are, I'm in Greenville, South Carolina, and we have some good weather coming up this weekend, so I'm pretty stoked about that. But anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope to see you soon. Bye, guys.